What the? Ah, oh, crap. Yep, came out this morning and I've got some fungus issues. Good old dollar spot there. Um, my own fault, my own dumb fault. I, uh, I knew this could happen, I knew it probably would. I just didn't get in a hurry about putting down anything. And uh, here we are. This is ridiculous. This spot over here is infested. That's crazy. Um, so need to order some stuff and put that down. Already got some brown spots. Check this out. Yeah. So. Whoops. It's just no excuse. I just didn't put anything down. It's been a really wet spring. Um, perfect conditions for the fungus. I just gotta get some stuff and start fighting it now. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ugh, yeah, so all those brown spots are caused by dollar spots, a fungus that affects turf grass, and I've got it pretty bad. Yeah, so I've got new fungus, and then the brown spots on the lawn are from the old fungus. It's already done its damage. I'm just way behind here. It sucks. So they look like little spider webs on the lawn. That is not a spider web. Got the dollar spot. Ugh, this stinks. Okay, so I've got some dollar spots, so I'm using Microbutanil. This stuff says that I'm not supposed to use it for more than three consecutive applications, so the plan is to rotate this with a combination of propiconazole and azoxystrobin. The label says that for dollar spot, I'm supposed to use between 1 and 2.4 fluid ounces per thousand square feet every 14 to 28 days. Let's do it. I think that was actually pretty perfect. I went pretty quick so that I could go that direction and also go the other direction to get the actual coverage over this area right here. Because basically what I put in the backpack sprayer was what needed to go on this area. So I need to use it all up so I can make a couple passes and make sure it's more even. Sweet. So the battery on my camera ran out, so I'm gonna show you just here. I'm gonna do this little area. And by the way, shout out to John Ware and thelawnform.com. The antifungal stuff is overwhelming. There's an article from NC State. You can go on there and they show you so many different kinds of antifungals and you're supposed to rotate between all these ingredients and it's, it's a little bit overwhelming. But if you go on thelawnform.com, there's people that kind of walk you through what their strategy is and they'll show you um, a good plan for it. It's, it's really bearable after that. So now I'm going to do the backyard, kind of the same process. I put enough in the backpack sprayer that'll be able to cover the backyard. So if it takes me two times, three times, I'll just cover it evenly and go different directions and spray that much on the backyard. So this is the first time that I've had a yard, at least one that I've tried to keep nice. And so this is the first time that I've had dollar spot before, at least that I knew of. It kind of looks like little spider webs on the grass. In fact, that's what I thought it was. That's what people have asked me if that's what it was. And then I learned that it's not, it's actually a fungus. And it looks kind of like this. Those spider webs cover little spots on the grass and then wherever those spider webs were touching, you're gonna have a dead spot there later on. Okay, now here we go. We are spraying the backyard, getting rid of that dollar spot. I know you're all really sad that my camera battery died so that I couldn't show you every second of me spraying this stuff all over my yard. But uh, I, I sincerely apologize. I'm really, I'm just, I'm so sorry. I know you're bumped. Ugh. Somebody get me one of those boom sprayers that'll cover like nine feet all at once. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Why can I use the four-wheeler in that tank sprayer? Ah, next time. 
shout out to the grass factor his latest video he talked about antifungals and growth regulators i just ordered both but since i have damage from dollar spot he was telling me well all of us that i shouldn't use a growth regulator until it has grown out everything is green so thanks for the heads up matt so it has just been crazy rainy lately i think that has definitely contributed to all this fungus um, also, I'm on domyown.com. They said you want to do this when it's not supposed to rain for 24 hours afterwards so it can dry thoroughly. And then also you're not supposed to have kids or dogs or adults, I guess, for that matter, on it for, well, at least until it's dry. So there's that. Whew, I am done. Um, I guess the plan is to probably spread some nitrogen over here in the next day or two. I hear the antifungals can be a little bit stressful on the grass, so I need to give it a little bit of a bump here. Hopefully get all these dead little brown spots to go away so that when I do all my leveling project, etc, etc, the grass is just stronger and able to come back pretty quick. So, oof, that was, that was not fun. I need to figure out a better way to spray. But anyway, um, thanks for watching and see you next time. Well, don't it always seem to go? Everybody's got that spot they can't mow. If you've got that spot, we'll put in a flower bed, y'all. Ooh, pop, pop, pop. Ooh, pop, pop, pop.